Welcome. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. So in today's quick video, as we see the Dow essentially trading at all time highs, we can see that this has been a good market. In fact, going back many years. And as the market is making fresh all time intraday highs, as far as the Dow is concerned, we can see that some stocks are actually trading at 52 week lows. So it's not like all stocks are moving higher. So some stocks are seeing a move down. Now in today's video, I want to discuss those who've been holding the stock, let's say over the last six months during this phase where we've seen the stock see a big price erosion. Now come back to this. So this is mainly for those who have owned the stock over the last six months and I've seen the stock drift lower. Now I'm going to keep it brief, but one thing we can see from this chart and that's why I'm using it is we see a good example of what happens when you encounter a failed breakout. So you can see this is all data monthly and there was a couple of breakout attempts. In fact, I shouldn't say a couple. This took many, many months to play out. So in January, February, March, April, actually in May, there was a breakout. Is a breakout right there above that range. So that was in May. By June, another failed breakout. And by July, another failed breakout. So six months of trying to break out above this range and essentially unsuccessful. Now, as I always say, failed breakouts are notorious for taking instruments lower. Notice what happens after that. We spend another let's call it two and a half years in this sideways range. And in fact, if we extend this breakout line, let's call it in the 37, 36 price level, we see that there were other couple breakout attempts here in 2020, failed breakout attempt again, 2020, failed breakout again here late 2020. And now we see the magic of playing breakouts. If you are a strict player of the breakout game, this is the entry. Now, whether you own it at that point or not, or whether you use the smaller time frame for an entry, the point of the matter is, on hindsight, this was the precise entry. And given all these years of essentially sideways action, we can say from 2016, to about late, very late 2020, the stock was in a sideways phase. And the only explosive period is here. This is the only explosive period. We can't even argue with that fact. And we see from that, that the breakout game, and this is why I specialize with in timing breakouts. I've done it for 20 years straight, nonstop, full time full time, every minute of the trading session. I'm looking for breakouts like this for clients. Now, this is why the breakout game is so powerful. Now, coming back to what I was saying, all these holders in this period, all of those who have hold, held the stock over throughout this period are probably, we can assume frustrated by this price move down. One thing I can say from an educational standpoint is there was a sign and the sign goes back to the breakout attempt that failed. Take this about 70 ish monthly closing high from November 2020. And you'll see a couple of things. Number one, there's a failed breakout attempt here. February of 2021. And there's a failed breakout attempt. I believe that was sometime in July, August of 2020. And another failed breakout again. I believe that was in September of 2021. Excuse me. So this series of failed breakouts, the failure to clear the 70-ish price level was a massive red flag. And again, we see that failed breakouts are notorious 
for taking instruments low. And this is the lesson for those who've held over the last six months. If you had just gone back and seen what had happened and understood what it meant, this failed breakout was a major red flag. In fact, a series of major red flags. And by understanding this, you could see that the stock had no momentum and had confirmed that it had no momentum to keep moving higher and breaking to higher highs. So your red flag was there and this plays out over and over and over again in the market. So the breakout is the way to time massive moves and failed breakouts is the way to avoid massive plunges. So you got green flag for a bullish run, red flags, failed breakouts for a potential move down. And so it is. I am Eric with Mother.com and I leave you as I found you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth therefore rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one creator. Adonai.